Hey, I'm back. So this month is Fibroid Awareness Month, and this week I want to talk about our fibroid health. You know, fibroids are one of those things that we're told as black women that if they're not bothering us, we shouldn't bother them, and we should just move on. So as a result, we, every month when we're having a menstrual cycle, if we have fibroids, we have pain. We have heavy bleeding. We have anemia. We may have to be getting a blood transfusion. You know, the list goes on. We can, we're in that reproductive place. We have miscarriages because fibroids don't have to be large for you to have a miscarriage because your uterus is not supposed to have a fetus trying to live in it and a tumor at the same time. Somebody's got to go. Usually it's the baby. It's not the tumor. So what we at the imperative has done is partnered with the White Dress Project. I bet you didn't know that there was an organization that is out there that is solely dedicated to making sure that training, education, advocacy, and awareness is there regarding fibroid, your fibroid health. Because 80% of black women develop fibroids between the age of 30 and 50. That's right, 80% between the age of 30 and 50. And if we're overweight, and I'm not talking 5, 10 pounds, but if we're overweight, we increase our occurrence of fibroids because they feed off the fat and our bad diets. So many things go into what obesity is, and this is what I'm talking about, our overall health. We start to manage our health once we start to get our diets and our nutrition under control. It changes so many things in our life including fibroids, our hypertension, our diabetes, our heart disease. It changes so many things in our life and we just have to be aware. This month, we need to make sure that it's not another percentage point added to black women getting fibroids. Not one, not one percentage point. So we need to start with our overall health and then we need to make sure that we know what our fibroid health is. Because I don't want you to be a statistic. I just don't. I don't want you to be another statistic of the rate being going up to 81%. Because we didn't take anybody's advice and just go to our gynecologist and get checked out. Just to know where we are. Stop being in pain. Stop suffering. Stop going through all of that. Because we don't have to. Look at what we could do every day if we weren't in bed for days because we're bleeding too much, we're in so much pain, you know, our backs hurt. And we don't even associate it with the fibroid. Our anemia, we don't associate it with the fibroids until you get to that place where you have to have a transfusion. So, along with the White Dress Project, the imperative wants to raise awareness. We truly want to raise awareness. And the White Dress Project is solely dedicated to raising funds for research and advocacy for women who are suffering in silence with fibroids. And I do mean suffering in silence because it's like everything else. We don't take care of us because we're so worried about everything and everybody else. Well, this is one of those very important issues that I always talk about we got to do for us. Just us. Just us because we want that statistic of 80% of black women having fibroids to go down, not up. Down, not up. So that's it for today. Next week, my blog is going to be live, and because it's live, I want to make sure that all you guys know, you know I'm a piece of work, so you know next week I've got something for you if I'm coming live. So we're going to be sending out some tweets and some Facebook posts so you'll know what time we're going live next week. So hope you'll watch. Hope to see you then. See ya.